I've noticed that girls who aren't ticklish aren't because they're used to being handled by men. Well, on galleys. I know I have a spot. What can I do? Do this the entire video. Just talk to you guys like this. Look, I can't get rid of it. I'm not a magician. I'm self-conscious enough as it is. Please. Once again, I can never tell because I've got bad eyesight, but I hope it's in focus for the most part. Someone complained in my last video that it went out of focus when I moved here. Of course it's going to go out of focus. Can't please everyone. I got my, I got my new phone now. Oh, hell yes. It is. Oh, well then. Uh, I haven't managed to turn off notifications, it seems. For f new phone, new me. It's a Huawei, Huawei P9, for those that are obviously going to ask me. But now I can make this good meme because I still got my old phone and my new phone. I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two phones, one for the beaches and one for the dog. Instagram video that I did the other week was a mad thing. So thank you for watching that. I saw a lot of people on my Facebook sharing it and I appreciate that. You're getting the, the, the cane is not good word out there. The word of the cane is not good. Franchise 2017. I was on Facebook and I saw someone share this article. So I thought, okay, let me let me have a little looky poo. It was a lot more than I expected. I thought, why not do the same sort of thing as I did with the micro cheating video I did last month and just read this article and let's talk about it. The article is called 24 Signs She's a Slut. There are people that are probably going to think that I'm going to agree with this, but it's ge genuinely his thought process is quite bizarre. And I'm assuming that I might get a few people that watch this and they'll think that I'm some sort of fucking white knight or some shit. <sighs> you couldn't be more wrong, my friend. And he's, he's written a little article before the list, which is nice. It's, uh, it's absolute shite. Uh, it's like that much writing. Who gives a shit? Certainly not me. The thing is, this article is like three years old. I, don't, I can't say his fucking name. Tooth, tooth, toothmosis Sonifra. Toothmosis? Toothmosis? What the fuck? I'm sorry, but Toothmosis? <sighs> fucking hell. There are no guarantees in life, but I felt increasingly confident throughout the night that I could bang this girl. Why? Because she displayed a double digit count of my classic slut tells. Let's get into his slut tells. Number one, has tattoos. Confirmed. It's fuck, it's confirmed. <laughs> if you like a needle to the skin, you like a cock in the bajin. Didn't really work. Vagina, vagina, vagina. And it says this is especially the case if they're visible, multiple, large, and elaborate. It's quite a few things to tick off. If they have sexual themes, you're in like Flynn. Oh, oh fuck it! Now he's got the rhymes on. On, he's got the rhymes on fleek. Pretty much, if you've got any tattoos that are on show, you're a slut. I don't understand how. Whatever, man. But the thing is, I've got a girlfriend. Shocker. She's got a tattoo here and here. Those are visible. One's a fucking alien head. It's literally an alien. Slut, confirmed. I'm with a dirty slut. I'm with a dirty ting them. <laughs> Number two, piercings outside of the traditional earlobe placement. Sluttiness increases as you radiate from the lobe. So here, not really a slut. Here, oh, pushing it. Oh, 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 she loves cock. She loves it. So the further away it gets from there, the more slutty you are. So if she's got her clitoris pierced, you're in for a treat. Well, you're not in for a treat because she's been around. But if look, if you if you don't mind partners that have been with loads of people, you're in for a treat. Delicious. <laughs> Number three, has slut face. You either recognize it or you don't. How can someone have a face that shows that they love sleeping around? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, in his mind, what I think he's talking about is if she's got that sexy look or that, that sort of attractive look, like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, like me. If she's attractive, if she's sexy like me, slut. Slut face. Hello, I'm a slut. I don't know what I'm doing. Number four, cusses a lot. Especially if she uses words fuck, pussy, or cock outside of the bedroom. If you ladies aren't ladylike, if you say fuck, how dare you? How, could, how, how would your parents feel about you being a slut? Knowing that they raised a dirty whore that says fuck pussy and cock. You dis- you fucking make me sick. 
number five. Not ticklish. What's, what the fuck has that got to... What, how does that correlate? And his explanation... He's, he's cracked a code. He's cracked something here. I've noticed that girls who aren't ticklish aren't because they're used to being handled by men. What the fuck? It doesn't make sense to me, fam. It doesn't make sense. If there's some scientific studies that back this claim, nice one, Tosmosis, whatever his fucking name is. But until then, you're talking out your arsehole. Number six, broaches the topics of illegal drugs, even marijuana, without prompting. Well, marijuana is an illegal drug. Because marijuana is a plant, bro. Marijuana is not a drug. Fuck off, fam. Fuck off. <laughs> the more illegal, the sluttier. Oh, I, I need me. I need me a bitch on heroin. <sighs> she give that bomb head. Oh, I need me someone that's addicted to fucking shooting up. I need me someone on those A-class things. Them stoner gals. They don't mean shit to me anymore. I need me a heroin bitch. That's the new motto. I need me a heroin bitch. Last video in the Instagram one, it was hashtag smash my cack. Now it's hashtag need me a heroin bitch. Number seven. This one is Deliciosa. Has big tits. <sighs> so if your genetics seem to bless you with big bosoms, the fodumf, you know, the fodumf. That's my favorite sound effect to give to tits. I just love it. Just imagine someone getting a big titty out of their bra. Fodumf, that's the noise it makes. Fodumf, as it hits their knees. Girls with small tits, with a pancake chest, with an ironing board chest, they ain't ever seen Cox in their life. And his reasoning, they probably came in early, probably, he's just assuming, probably came in early, which translates into additional years of male attention. Just because you're getting male attention, it doesn't mean that you're, you're slutting. You're slutting about, does it? It doesn't make sense. So, if a girl on the street gets, Oi, oi, get your chicha for the ledge, 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 ledge. She's a slut. That's his logic. Huh? I don't get it, man. It does not make no sense to me. Any girls watching and you got big titties, it's your fault, you're to blame. Men hitting you up, your fault. You grew them tits yourself. Take the blame, innit? You slut. <laughs> Number eight. Shows excessive skin for weather conditions. Exposes the midriff, lower back, or ass piece from the bottom of her daisy dukes, even when it's not super hot. Why does he write like this? Look, wear what you want to fucking wear. But if you're wearing a crop top and shorts or a skirt when it's... Zero degrees, minus 10 outside, you're freezing your batty crease off. Why? Why Why are you doing that? It's a bit questionable, but I wouldn't say that it's because you like cock. Now this one is, is quite the meme. Has extra body hair. What the fuck? I see no correlation, my friend. And or a low speaking voice. I need to, I need to lean for a minute because man don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> this, I'm told, is simple biology. Who told you, fam? A doctor? Did a doctor tell you this? Or are you just making this out your ass, tosmosis? Fucking tosmosis, more like. It's a very English insult there for you. Free of charge for anyone that's not English. A new one in your, in your vocabulary, tosser. It means wanker. Jerk off. You can call your American friends. You can say, hey, you're a tosser. And be, what? It's a tosser. I learned it from Kane is not good. Who is Kane is not good? Well, he is an amazing YouTuber. And uh, you should type him in on YouTube. And you will have a good time. Wow, maybe I will, you tosser. I don't know where I'm going with this joke. Got more hair. Lower speaking voice. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of a beard coming on. Little bit of a sideburn. I got them deep voice there. I'm a slut. Number 10. Associates with confirmed sluts. Her friends are often one of your best weather veins. I have no... Look, I'm not the brightest book in the room. But I don't know what a weather vein is. I can understand where he's coming from. But he's acting like it's a fact. It's just more often than not. If someone loves the cock, most of the girls in the group like it a little bit as well. I'm not passing this off as fact. I'm passing it off as things that I may have seen in my life, okay? I'm not Tosmosis, bruv. Tos- what's his fucking name? I need to see his name again. Toothmosis. Toothmosis, son of a- Fucking Toothmo- 
Oh, that name, fucking, no wonder he's gone through life like this. With a name like to Toothmosis. Number 11. Shows interest in girls, has hooked up with girls, or claims to be bisexual. Bisexuality has quickly become standing for hypersexuality. Has it? Because a girl has sexual preference for the penis and for the vagina, confirm slap. But then again, I kind of agree with the has hooked up with girls because those girls are usually the ones that will be at a party and they'll be like, ha 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 Fun. And they'll just, I don't know what I was acting then in my mind. I went off on one. But they're the ones that will more be like playing around with the girl. Haha, ha, kiss, we're just friends. I've got a boyfriend, but we're just friends. So I'll give to fucking to Toothmosis. I'll give him a bit of that. I'll give him a point 0.1 of a point. 0 0.1 of a point. Decimal. Number 12. Is currently or was at some point in a sorority. I don't know what sorority is. Isn't it just like a group of girls that live in a fucking house? I don't know. Cheerleaders. <laughs> Number 13. Has travelled alone or with only girls to fuckfest locations. Example, Jamaica. I would think Magaluf. Something like that. Lads holiday. Lash holiday. We go there to fuck. Shagaloof. Jamaica, on the other hand, you go there if you want to blaze the trees, don't you? I want to see the sights. I want to blaze the leaf, them. I want to hit the bomber clot. I don't know what I'm... F I'm sorry. Any... Anyone that's got Jamaican in them that's watching this, I do apologise. I don't know where I went with that. But anyway, one love. Praise be to Jar. Selector. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14. Was a cheerleader in high school. Look, I don't have cheerleaders here, so I have nothing to, to, to base that off. Let's give him that one. Let's give him a free point because he needs it. Number 16. Lost her virginity on the younger side. The earlier they start, the longer they tend to ride the carousel. That's a nice euphemism there, tooth. Tooth. Oh, can I call you tooth? It's a nice use of euphemism. It's a nice youth. It's a nice use of a euphemism. It's a nice use of a euphemism. Fucking, I got it. If you're 15 and by 17 you've got fucking 20 partners, you're doing something wrong. Like, why? Come on, you're delicate. You're still, you're still young. Please. Don't, don't do that to yourself, fam. Do what you're doing. It's your fanny at the end of the day, yeah? It's your vagina. It's your meat slice. Ugh. You do you, baby girl. Yas, queen, slay. Number 17. Likes tequila shots or party drugs. Ecstasy, MDMA. These drugs are of choice for the promiscuous. So first off, back a minute ago, he's talking about the harder the drug, the more of a slut. And now they've got light drugs, I would call them. I don't know. I don't do drugs. Never have. So I don't know what these things really do. But MDMA, that's not really a hard drug, is it? So she, he's gone... Basically, if she does MDMA, she's a slut. If she does heroin, she's a slut. Pretty much. What we're summing up here is if you're a woman, thought. Confirmed. It's confirmed. Nan, you're a fucking thought. What do you mean, what's a thought? You know what a thought is. It's you, innit? We talk... Don't, don't talk back. Look, are you a woman? Yes or no? Yes, therefore, thotty. You thought I forgot about the nan joke, didn't you? <sighs> Number 19. Is an artist or a wannabe model who has done photo shoots? Girls in the arts tend to have a loose attitude towards sex, especially if their art involves expressing themselves with their body. I'm not going to pass any of this on as a fact. I'm just going to put it as what I've seen. The only thing I can think of as girls in the arts are those people that do, like, gender studies at, at universities and cry over... A man sneezing in their vicinity. They hate men, but they'll fuck them. They'll fuck a million of them because it's their body, their choice. Hashtag still not asking for it. Like I said, do what you want. Do what you want, what you want with your body. Female empowerment. Hashtag, yes, I'm a woman. Me personally, I don't like getting in relationships with girls that have slept around. Personal preference. I would not attempt to move things further if you've been about. Because I, I ain't been about. I don't like to be about, fam. I, I can count the girls I've been with on 20 of my hands, fam, because man gets up. Man's a fucking, man's a, a womanizer, innit? You thought I was going to say I can count how many on my on my hand. What am I, a dickhead? I've been with oh, thousands. I've lost count. Number 22. Describes herself as a feminist or with any of its jargon. Pansexual, demisexual, cisgendered. I'm in the middle of recording! 
You cheeky bastard. See you later. I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. Number 23 has an even nice tan that she maintains. F what? You go on a sunbed, dirty fucking whore. And number 24, the final one in this article, hair dyed a non-traditional colour. Does that mean I'm a little bit of a slut? I've got a little bit of non-traditional colour in my hair, and I've got a piercing, and I was a cheerleader. And it says, like piercings and tattoos, dyed hair, telegraphs, rebellion to social norms. That almost always translates into sluttiness. The whole thing, foolish. Foolish behaviour. <laughs> Once again, sorry any Jamaicans watching. Respect. <laughs> And that's where I'm gonna end this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I, I very much enjoyed doing these videos myself. I really enjoy just talking in front of the camera about something silly and just making up the jokes as I go along. It's something that I've really been enjoying recently. So it's why I've done one of these again so soon. Follow me on Facebook, link in the description. Everything's in the description, the Patreon, Twitter, Twitch. Everything there. I've got many things that I want to do in the future. So this channel is finna blow up. Trust me, daddy. I don't know why I did that because who am I calling? I've already got two phones over there. Why do I need a third? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a fat like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until next time, boys, until next time, girls, I will see you later. Unless you're one of these typical girls, because I won't see you later because you'll be fucking every man in sight. See you later. <laughs>